my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship Your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. I have to sing your song again. Whoever make me and whatever lies before me. I will be singing when the evening comes. The Lord of oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. He keep love. And was slow to anger. Him is great, and your heart is kind. For never make a turn with never pass before me. Let me be singing when the night is. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. On that day. When the spring is failing, then you'll need, and my time must come. Still, my soul sings, your voice unending. Ten thousand years and never, ever more. Praise. Praise the Lord of my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Worship Your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you for all those who are watching. Um, thank you for giving me your time to listen to me yet again. I have come back because of a great public demand after I shared uh, a few clips that I have uh, spoken and specifically the one I spoke about domestic violence. And it seems it touched the lives of so many people and I got um, um, people calling me through messenger and sending me private message and and i'm so grateful that whatever i spoke has blessed somebody i had mentioned and i said whatever i'm going to share will change somebody will encourage somebody will build someone so i'm continuing with the same wavelength and and because of what people demanded i i just want to go through it in a, in a, in a short while um it may not be so 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 deep but you know when you expose the enemy it shall run the bible says that 
when you, 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 you rebuke the enemy, it, it shall run. So we are rebuking the works of Satan. All what I'm speaking about as a Christian is the works of Satan. Domestic violence really is a warfare that is targeting individuals, that is targeting families, and it is the work of the devil. The Bible says in John 10.10 10, that the devil came to steal, came to kill, and to destroy. So he's coming to steal the, the families is coming to steal the individuals in, in their mind, stealing their joy, stealing their happiness, stealing their wealth, stealing their information and, and, and to destroy and to make sure that there's no even evidence about it and to destroy the lives of people. And in the end, in such people will be killed and they will diminish from the face of the earth. So all what we are bringing up an, an understanding is really the works of the enemy. The devil has got no friendship with anyone. When he targets you and, and, and targets you, he's targeting the purpose of God in your life and wants to make sure that wherever you will go, he will pursue you. But you know what? One thing that I have learned in, in this journey, even as, as I've walked with God, is that no matter the level of warfare that you face through, Jesus is our protector. The moment you come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life, he will fight your enemies, those seen and those unseen. So as I bring up this issue, it is not that we are defeated by it. It is because we want to expose and we want to bring a remedy. And, and the best remedy is all of us running to Christ because Christ in us, the hope of glory. So when we run to Christ and hide ourselves under the blood of Jesus, though the enemy comes like a flood, that is in Psalms uh, chapter 68 from verses 1, he said, when the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard. So what we are talking together and learning together is, is agreeing that God will bring a standard and, and a domestic violence cannot finish us. We are going to face it head on and we are going to talk about it. We are going to expose it. We are going to challenge it and we are going to empower one another as the days go by. In my earlier talk, if you watch my, my video, I'm now in YouTube. And uh, my, my, my YouTube uh, username is uh, Pastor Margaret Tanui. If you can go to the YouTube, you will see Pastor, Pastor Margaret Tanui. There are a few uh, videos I've downloaded there, and, and I'm happy that everyone is, is blessed. So when I spoke initially about domestic violence, I gave uh, in details what it is and, and the effects of domestic violence among us individuals. I mentioned and I say domestic violence is not only on women, but it is also affecting men. And I remember somebody around me and saying, Margaret, you did not emphasize deeply about what men are going through. Indeed, they are going through a lot. And I want to speak, and especially in, in this um, uh, first world country, like in U U UK and in US, and we've heard of men who have been, gone through a lot of abuse and, and many of them have ended up maybe committing suicide because they do not have, they do not know what to do. And the reason why is I, I, I want to believe the system in these countries will, will first listen, sorry, will, will first listen in first hand information from women when they make a phone call that the men are harassed so quickly and, and they are thrown out of their houses and by the time they come to realize that it was not their fault they would have gone through a lot of emotional um uh, problems so men also go through it so i'm not i'm not focusing on on women alone because i said because i'm not a woman no everybody goes through it and men usually don't speak about what they go through because when they speak about the, the violence they go through in their houses, they would they would feel weakened and 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 the, the authority is is threatened and and so they would be feel ashamed. So many men don't speak about it. They would prefer keeping quiet and and waiting for a better better day. But because women talk about it all the time, you know, maybe that's why. However, but I'm tonight or today I am going to bring out the the causes of domestic violence and 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 bring it out clearly that 
um, the, 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 the researchers as 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 discovered that domestic violence really is 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 a character and and it is a planned um, behavior it doesn't it doesn't mean that um it's caused by certain specific traits in in the character of a, a human being it is it, it, the person plans to 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 cause violence and and i will bring out clearly those issues and and we will discuss together and and i want to tell you that by the end of this program you will have learned something and i said even if you are not going through the domestic violence yourself you may be knowing somebody who is going through it or you have had or or you know you have counseled somebody and this will help you so that we help others so that we may help people to open up we may help people to 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 talk about it and even help people to come out from hostile and 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 um, uh, terrible or atrocities, atrocities that people have gone through so it is it is our responsibility to to face it and help other people if you are not going through it yourself you shouldn't leave people who are going through it to go through alone it's a lonely journey it's a lonely experience a painful one so you are very important in this journey as as i begin this talk today um uh, as as i mentioned uh, also in the beginning i said domestic violence is any form of violence that target an individual physically emotionally socially spiritually financially in all areas of life rendering the person really um fearful rendering the person terrorized and under the control of that person and the main purpose of why this person is 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 bringing in this violence is to make this person uh, under his uh, control or a control so you become powerless in all areas and and so uh, it's it's a, it's a it's something that is is killing many people and 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 uh, destroying many families and as i have mentioned the devil really wants to destroy families because when the family is destroyed the church is destroyed when the church is destroyed then the community is destroyed when the community is destroyed the the nation is destroyed people become you know useless and ungovernable rebellious and and they will do things on their own because the, the 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 rebellion began 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 from their household so i just want to to bring out these issues that you know many people think that certain areas of 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 um uh, behaviors is 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 what causes domestic violence so i just want to say that many people try to blame domestic abuse on a variety of factors although these factors may increase the likelihood of domestic abuse they are not the cause of domestic abuse domestic abuse is a matter of choice from the perpetrator so he chooses really what to do why am i saying this because this person will target one person if this person was really uh, uh, generalizing his abuse he would have abused his parents he would have abused his sisters and brothers he would have abused the neighbors he would have abused his friends but somehow the domestic violence that I'm talking about is that targeted domestic violence that targets one person and drives that one person into a very vulnerable state. So if indeed this person was being guided by certain characteristics that um, the person is going through, then it would have done an holistic you know, kind of uh, domestic violence. So I, I want us to look into, into those areas very quickly because of um, a, a time and say that domestic violence is a choice it is a learned behavior that means the person has learned it has planned for it and 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 it, it begins very far and by the time he's doing to you it doesn't rise up in the morning and begins like that this person plans for for a long time so by the time you yourself you are coming to notice you will realize maybe the person even planned for three years before you 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 got the 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 effect of of, of this thing so it it's it say for for this reason it is difficult it is difficult to say that domestic violence is caused by any one single factor however the the fo the, the following beliefs and attitudes are common for all abusers and one is that 
it says a belief they should have they should have power and control over their partner and that is the the, the first thing that many people who who, who bring domestic violence to, your, to their relationship is because somebody is looking to control and to be to bring control on 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 one person so he looks at you and believes that i always he wants to have his way or a way in the activities of of the household in the activities of of, of the maybe the community or or in the uh, activities of the family mm -hmm. and the only way to have his way is for this person to inflict fear and to torment you and to bring you under their control. So it's, it is a belief that behind them, the only way I can make Margaret to obey me and to, to follow my instructions is to, to bring fear. And maybe he uses words in the beginning, as I said earlier, he uses threatening words. When the threatening words doesn't work, he uses maybe withdrawal of finances. If it doesn't work, he uses words, you know, and, and, and if it doesn't work, he now uses a physical approach. So the, the patterns are different. Some uses physical, some uses words, some uses finances, some even keep quiet. So it's part of domestic violence, somebody can just decide to keep quiet and never talks to you. And you try to get why, what have I done, you know, and I said you keep repenting all the time. So the person has planned and he realizes the only way to treat Margaret and to, for her to, to come under my authority is for me to keep silent. And the person shuts up. You, he doesn't ask for anything. Sometimes even when he wants something to eat, he will write it on a note and leave it on the table and say, I want a cup of tea. So the communication goes into writing notes and, 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 and sending text, you know. And no more communication. And there's, that is a torture when somebody doesn't talk to you. You have been talking together and then all of a sudden somebody begins to send you text or write a note on the table. If he wants uh, 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 rice for dinner, you will say, tonight I'm not eating something and he writes a note for you. How do you feel? It's really bad. So this is a, a, a belief somebody puts behind them that the only way I can control you is to to, to, to impact power on you. It's a belief that they can get away with it. So many people really, uh, when they have abused you and, and, and brought a lot of violence and, and fear on you, they know very well that they will get away with it. How do I know that? Because there are, there are um, countries, maybe I'll talk for example, even in, in UK where I am at the moment, Somebody knows that you will not report me anyway, because if you report me, you are going to lose me. So he knows your characteristics. He knows that if if I do this, there's nothing you are going to do. Or in, in some other countries, he knows that even if you report me, nobody can, can arrest me. Nobody can touch me. So the environment also dictates what the person will do. So if the person believes that he will get away with it, he will continue to inflict that fear and control over your life for a very long time. And somehow, even if you go tell someone, he knows very well people cannot face him. Issues of, of domestic violence, and especially in intimate relationship, is quite difficult to handle because when you come in as a third person, to try to bring, you know, uh, uh, solve that problem, the person will go back to the, the, the person who, 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 who talked and say, who told you to say this? Who told you to share this? And, and fear comes on you and you don't want to tell anybody because you do not know the repercussions of what this person it will do. Um, another thing that I, I want to mention is, is um, uh, uh, land. it is a land experience that being abusive, gets them what they want. Can you imagine? So somebody has learned, maybe the background of this person, um, uh, so is his mom or his dad, you know, behave uh, uh, um, in a certain way that when they wanted something, to get something, they would, you know, uh, draw or throw trantums and abuse or or shout or 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 throw something and and smash a cup or 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 withdraw or run out of the house 
And the person has realized every time I do that, I get what I want. So you have transferred the accretion from where you grew up and now you want to start here. And when the person does not do exactly what you wanted, you go higher and that continues and it becomes physical because there is something you want to achieve and you do not know how to communicate. And so the only way you communicate is by uh, drawing, you know, throwing tantrums, smashing cups and smashing things or, or, or slashing yourself. There are some people who are known to cut themselves. So when you cut yourself and, and your partner sees blood coming out of your hands, she's so fearful and, and you'll be able to, to give you what you want. So such, a, such people uh, 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 form an habit of, of, of bringing tantrums and, and, and things that to get away with it. It's a belief that their lives should take a priority. You know, you have somebody in your life that everything you do, they should be the first priority. I remember when I was growing up and our mom would, would cook food and, and, and the first person who should be served and I remember when we used to have chicken, you know, uh, in, in, once in a while. And everybody would be wa waiting for a portion of that chicken. We are so many. And you can imagine uh, how many pieces would, would, would we get. If you are lucky, you get the, you know, the feet of, for, for the chicken. And so it was very difficult when you see your dad is getting the bigger portion. Our dad used to get the, the, the bigger part of, of the shoulder. And, and it was a priority. And if he doesn't get that, I want to tell you the truth. Those, the whole of that chicken will, 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 will be scattered. So it, the person believes I am a priority in everything. Priority in, com in communication, priority in finance, priority. So if that priority doesn't come his way or away, then that is the beginning and, and, and the start of violence in, in, in the family. So, um, I don't know whether it is making sense or what I'm saying. I'm not seeing anybody saying yes or, or so. Um, other social factors that have, have, have brought out domestic violence so, so loudly and is, is Christian, Christianity. You know, the Bible says in, 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 in Ephesians, and, and I think I've written it somewhere. I want to read it for us. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, 22, 23, says, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. His body and himself is savior. In 2 Timothy 2, 11, 12, said, Let a woman learn in silence, with all submissive, I permit no woman to teach or have authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain silent. You know, out of this contents of what Paul wrote, many Christians and in the church have used this as a weapon against women. And they have used this to silence women and to tell them you are not supposed to talk. You are not supposed to say anything. Even when they are not, they want to express themselves. They, they refer them to the fast and to the Bible. That the Bible says this. And the church has kept, you know, many families under the, this, this, um, this misguided um, scripture. And when women would speak about domestic violence in the church, I want to be sincere with you, they are least help. Why? Because the, the person who is a the perpetrator will always take the center stage in the church. Maybe doing the most in the church, giving an offering, doing activities in the church, and the, the, the pastors in the church will, 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 will say, if we touch this family, we will, we will miss their tithe, we will miss their offering. And every pastor would fear interfering with the issues of family. And yet the, the woman and the wife is suffering and she has got nobody to tell these things because it is being, the church is guided by this scripture. 
and so the social factors that affect the relationship in families is what causes many people to suffer i may not go so much into details because i'm contradicting however i know it is true that many 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 women have suffered because of some uh, context of of scripture yet when we go into the details of this scripture really the bible is saying let the husband love his wife like the way christ loves the church so if we are believing in christ who loves us is so forgiving is so kind is so loving christ is not violent in his actions when Jesus came, he was never violent to anybody, including women. And so if the church would really, really, you know, um, take this scripture in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a good context, women would be protected under the church. So I, I just want to, to really uh, emphasize that the social uh, factors that have affected women for a long time is, is that's why women are more affected than, than the men. The men of late are the ones who are who are really uh, uh, getting through to, to domestic violence, which was which was never before. I'm I'm reading from June. Uh, 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 the Bible ask uh, June June Bunyany is saying the Bible asks men to love their wives as Christ has loved the church. I love that he was willing to die for that. That is the love men ought to love their wives. That means. The men are to have to die for their wives. You know, they need to protect them. They need to cover them. They need to empower them. Because when you empower your wife and your, your, your women, they, they, you become stronger yourself. But when you weaken the women, you are weakening yourself. And when you weaken a woman, you have weakened the children. I am going to speak about that next week, about the causes of domestic violence Um on children so i will leave that and and thank you june for 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 that note and 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 god bless you so i am just saying that the the social the social uh forces have played a, a very powerful role in shaping an abusive uh, values and attitudes in, in 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 the family as well as creating an environment where abusive behavior is rewarded and and punished so I, as I've mentioned, some of the social uh, factors, I said the spiritual part, and then we have the gender roles identified. That means the masculinity of, of a man it makes, makes him, you know, proud to, to look, I'm stronger, you know, and, and the woman is the weakest link. And so in, in that way, you bring out that strength to, 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 to torment but not to protect, not to build. So the, the masculinity of, 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 of a man uh, brings fear in the family. So, and, and, and because women are, are told to be the, the, the silent ones, the men are, are the kings. And, and in that kingly, if that kingly position is threatened by the weaknesses of, of a woman, the man feels, you know, uh, uh, undervalued. And so the only way to do it is to show that masculinity and, 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 and bring in, you know, fear so that you may be able to be under control. And, and because it, as time has gone by, the women are beginning to, to know their rights and challenging that, that position. And when they begin to challenge, they face an hostile person who, who does not understand. And, and later on, I will bring in the issue where the best thing is to, to communicate together, to bring in communication, because the world is changing. As much as, as, as the men are, are, are still sticking to, to their stereotype, the women are, are standing out at the moment because they, they know their rights. They have been empowered, and, and, and the cult child has begun to know their position and their rights, and, and this faces an hostile pressure that is coming from a masculinity of men. And, you know, um, and, and in the end, this masculinity of men, you know, values and glorifies aggression and, 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 and violence and dominance. And, and 
challenges the 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 the, 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 the gender of male uh, the gender of uh, females is standing out and they want to bring them down you know and uh, politically socially and beginning from the household and and women have have still mentioned women who are going through a lot and also men you know are, are going through uh, a lot Fam another um uh, causes are families uh, you know where for example, I will still speak uh, about families that do not expect certain women that have been married into uh, certain families. Maybe you are from another nation, maybe you are from another race, maybe from another tribe, and yet, you know, you, you, your, your sons go out and bring these women and, and the, the family may not really accept them. They feel they are strangers, they do not know their culture, they do not talk their language, they do not eat their food, they, they do not dress like them. And you become, you know, uh, driven out of, of the circles of the family and, and you are not uh, um, uh, respected. And, and through that, the, 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 the man or the woman is, is challenged and, and, and doesn't know how to react or act. And so the best way is to... To push you out and it doesn't know to to push you out of the relationship so what happens uh, 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 aggression and abuse and and violence comes in and trying to get you out of of the way for the sake of the family and this has is really happening a lot and especially uh, a relationship that uh, family uh, uh, family members have control over it um, another thing is the media the media has played a major role in domestic violence. Um, somebody rang me yesterday saying, Margaret, I want you to talk about this in your media where the use of phones and, and WhatsApp and Facebook and, and, and everything is, is exposing many relationships into vulnerability and, and many relationships are being threatened. We are, being, we are monitoring each other through uh, Facebook, through uh, Instagram through WhatsApp and and we are becoming so insecure within ourselves. So when somebody finds you using your phone, wants to know exactly what are you what are you looking at, whom are you sending text to, and whom are you talking to in Facebook? Why did you put that picture in 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 Facebook? Why did you do this? Why did you comment this? That's and all this becoming a battlefield of of miscommunication and misunderstanding and and violence and and it has caused havoc within a, a relationships and and many people are becoming suspects many people are becoming uh, unfaithful many people are becoming you know all kind of things and uh, the violence has increased at, at, at an alarming rate and and so these are the things that we need to watch and we need to communicate together and, and let us not allow media to become the, the, the center stage of our suffering. Uh, because one thing I know is we cannot avoid media. We cannot say, let us forget about it. In any case, it is growing at an alarming rate. Right now, I'm talking to you through the media. Things are changing without us having control over it. Uh, churches are using media meetings are going through the media so media is part of our 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 lives right now and so we cannot avoid it so we need to set up you know uh, mechanisms and things that will be able to to sustain us and to make us you know comfortable and not fearful and not to be controlled at the same time hallelujah i hope everyone is hearing me uh, I, I just want to talk also on media, that media has become um, 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 a glorification of violence by itself. And especially if we're watching uh, films and things that we watch on, 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 um, uh, on our gadgets, uh, we watch violent relationships being posted on, on, on the gadgets and we see violence happening all around. And all of a sudden, you realize that people also copy from that and transfer those those uh, behaviors into their own lives so media has played really a major role in bringing in a, a high level of domestic violence which has ended up even in in death um another another contributing factor to domestic violence is peer groups and peer pressure friends 
where people go sit together and they discuss and maybe somebody gets an idea of how to control a husband or how to 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 make a husband come under a, 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 a control or how to control a wife or how to control children because as i said earlier domestic violence touches everyone including children and if peer groups share you know ideas and and see how how i did this to mine and she she obeyed and she's now today she's under my control i don't hear those voices anymore and the person takes the same idea and and goes to transfer to his own household and this transfer of 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 information from one house to the other is what is increasing the issues of domestic violence in homes um um uh, I found also something to do with sports and aggression uh, where um, people who are very um, aggressive in, 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 in sport, in, in, in gym and, and everything and, and bringing out that aggression, you know, into relationship is, is making, you know, many people suffer. I don't have much clarification about that, but it's something that I I, I got it. And and the, the 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 other one is impunity. Impunity has been um, uh, there for 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 a long time in in many people. Many perpetrators do not face an, any negative repercussions for their uh, um, attitude and abusive behaviors. If they are challenged their excuses are accepted and they they begin to blame something they begin to blame that i was drunk they be, they begin to blame that i was out of my mind and, and and they begin to blame somebody else or maybe i was stressed or begin to blame hormones maybe i was my hormones were high some women will say you know when i'm on my periods yeah I, my 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 emotions are very high and i am I'm unstoppable you know another one say when i'm drunk i can know i don't know what i did and and yet i was drunk i want to tell you something this person is not saying the truth because if indeed it was because of alcohol if indeed because it was because of hormonal why do you target one person only you don't go and and do it to your sister you don't go to do it to your mother you don't go to do it to your neighbor you came direct and you entered the house or wherever you met and you targeted me. So whatever that person is saying sometimes is not true. Yes, some percentage alcohol can contribute. But I want to believe still lay foundation that every aggression is well planned, is well articulated. It is a character, it's a behavior that has been planned for a long time. So let us not blame the, the, the biological things. We let not blame hormones. And we say I'm on menopause and I am out of control and I don't want anybody to talk to me. I, I don't believe on, on, on those things. I believe it is, it is truly a planned perpetration. And you know very well that nobody will touch you. And so you need to be exposed. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need to be exposed and to be challenged. People write so many courses um, that they, they, they claim to be, which many researchers have discovered that it is not true. It's saying that using violence and abuse as a tactic and, and worked to, to solve problems. And that's, I've mentioned that before. I've mentioned earlier, and I said this person will throw tantrums and trying to, to, to use violence to, to, to fix something. Um, they have established tremendous control over others through abuse before. That means this person has done to somebody else and realized it worked. So it comes to another person and realize it works. So now it has become a habit to realize when I do this, I gain control. A repeated, you know, um, behavior. Um, another another uh, thing that uh, people uh, for poor man think it is it's a, a cause of this is provocation. Somebody would say I was provoked. You know, Margaret provoked me and, and there was a disagreement between me and her and, and I couldn't help it and we could, not, we could not understand each other and I was so irritated and this triggered my, my abuse. 
and I could not control my temper, you know, and he said, I'm, I'm, I'm an hungry person, you know, when hunger comes upon me, I cannot, I cannot uh, uh, have control over it. You know, um, another word, as I've said before, is stress, maybe due to um, somebody losing a job. You know, somebody may have been a high-paying uh, uh, person and then all of a sudden you lose your job, you lose your business and you find yourself, you are under the authority of somebody else who is feeding you and providing for you and this brings aggression and brings uh, 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 abuse, abuse in the family. And, and many people think that is the cause of it. But where has your self-control gone? You know, you know very well that you may have lost a job today. But with hope and communication and togetherness and agreement, you are able to, to reestablish yourself again. I remember June, who is watching with me, spoke this morning about uh, people who dwell on their past and people who are not able to let their past go, to, to let their weaknesses go. Instead of you learning from what has happened and be able to look ahead and gain strength, you are using your failures to, to, to violently you know, abuse others. So we need to use whatever failures that we have had in the past to be able to, to, to maybe help others or to, 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 to use it as a strength to, to go higher instead of using your weaknesses to, to violently, you know, um, uh, abuse other people. So that is one thing that uh, is standing out like now during the time of coronavirus, many people are losing their jobs, many people are losing, you know, opportunities and, and they are turning this anger and, and this anger unto other people who are very innocent and very vulnerable. So uh, they say that that's, that is one of the causes which may not be because I, I, I believe you can have self-control yourself. If you have anger problem, you need to go for anger management and be able to, to control yourself. Some people say it's because of drugs and alcohol misuse. Yes, after maybe you've had drug abuse, maybe you have uh, heroin and cocaine and many things, maybe that affects your health, your health and, and because you are desperate for more and you want to have more, you want to drink more, you want to buy more alcohol to get what you want, you bring violence to the loved ones you have and you want to get what you want, maybe to sell things in the house, you want money from that person and the only way you can, you can get it to, to, to feed your, your, your addiction is to bring violence into the family and many i've talked to many families and especially from children you know children who have been have had um uh, drug and, and alcohol abuse and how they have terrorized their families they enter the house and 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 try and try to use um, um weapons to to attack the, the 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 parents or the siblings and threatening and say if you do not give me this i will do this or threatening to burn the house or threatening to burn the cars and and all these things have caused havoc and violence in our households. Uh, some uh, uh, think it is a genetic factor. We say in our family, where I come from, you know, from my grandfather, my father, my uncles, everybody is violent and I'm part of that family. And you bring havoc into the family, whatever you want, you step on people. And they, they, they claim that, you know, genetic factor is a contributing factor. It is not because... If it was, you don't do violence to other people, you do to your family members and you think that is what has been happening. So as I said earlier, it is an adapted character. It is a transferred aggression from your grandfather to your father to yourself. So the, the spirit has been transferred and Jesus came to deal with that, such people. Jesus came to deliver such people. And when you come to know the Lord, he will be able to strip you of that power of aggression and give you a gentle of spirit and a calm spirit of love. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 7, I think verse 12, he said, The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but has given us the spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. So when you have Christ, he will give you a sound mind that you will not be tormenting people. You will not be fighting people. You will not be arrogant to people. Some say it is loss of control. Some say it is lack of communication in the family. People don't talk. Yes, you know, there are people in the house or the family who cannot talk like you. People talk differently. 
And so we should give each other, uh, you know, a chance and an opportunity to listen and to understand some people are stammerers. Some people cannot talk well, maybe the way they are. Some people cannot be able to express themselves very well. So you do not need to violently attack this person because they cannot speak well. Maybe some people are autistic, you know, and they are not able to make, uh, you know, coherent, you know, uh, 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 statements and they be able to not to express themselves. So that the person does not warrant to be uh, abused violently to be able to communicate with you. Give people time and, and, and understand. Some people speak about illness and mental illness. If you are sick, then go and see a mental a mental doctor or or report to the mental um, institution for help. Um, some cultural uh, 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 background. I come from a, a culture a community where women really long during those days were beaten like cows, and and sometimes the women accepted and felt this is this is where we belong. And, and they they didn't mind. They're beaten tomorrow. They are going on with their businesses, and they they don't keep it in their hearts. And so it became a habit. And I, I I remember even sometimes my grandmother used to tell me, you know, those days if they are not beaten, they will ask them their husbands, why didn't you beat me today? Because it because it has become a a, a, a habit. So culturally, some people uh, believe that women should be you know beaten, children should be beaten, but the violence that has come you know during this time has become so bad because people are using weaponry that is not uh, allowed people they, those days they used to use a stick and and, and maybe uh, be careful you not know, to 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 destroy or to damage people but now people are using knives people are using guns people are using uh, uh, horrible things you know um people are, are even uh, hiring uh, people to to destroy one another you know, and finish one another. So it is escalating into a higher level of domestic violence. People blame poverty, you know, that because of lack and, and somebody feels, how will I feed my family? How will I feed all this if the person destroys the family? Because you are not able to provide for their basic needs. And, and others' uh, problems is fame and power. Uh, Many politicians, I want to say, are the culprits that causes a lot of domestic violence to their families. One is because they are not there in, in their homes. So they go, when they come back, they realize that the things that they were supposed to, to be running in the family have gone wrong. And they want to blame, you know, the children, who blame the workers, blame the, the wives. And, and the family go through a lot behind those closed doors. And, and and they are not allowed to go out and you're staying in because in any case food is is available for you so where why should you go where sh why should you go out you stay indoors you we can communicate if you want to talk to me you can call me and so many of the politicians and the famous people have been able to lock their people in indoors and violently you know uh, violently uh, destroy destroy them and and the last one is money it says money is a source of all evil, <laughs> you know. Money and the misuse of money has brought uh, mayhem to many homes. So sometimes when we are praying for millions and millions, if you do not have the capacity to really uh, use that money, I want to tell you the truth. It will bring sorrow and cry and suffering into many families. Money, if not well um, taken care of, um, can render a family extinct because the misuse of money in alcohol, in drugs, in many things will make um, that family extinct. So let us be wise on how we use our finances lest it destroys us. The jealousy that comes in money, the, 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 for example, if, 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 uh, a wife sees, you know, the husband is having a lot of money and then all of a sudden he starts in uh, infidelity or, or having re extramarital relationships and this woman becomes very insecure and, and the best thing to do is maybe to get rid of this person or, or, or what to do is to seek for a divorce or, or whatever is and claim all the finances for this person and all this becomes a source of violence in the family. 
or the person has too much money and the best thing to do is to have more wives and bring in more wives and and children are also uh, affected in terms of you have too much money so the best thing take all your children to boarding school and then the servants are taken care of so parental care becomes minimal and and children feel rights are violated and it hence you know breaking homes and and violence increases in such homes i i have a lot and because of time maybe um i don't know how many how many minutes i've used but i i, I want to mention just a, a few and then i will give us um we'll pray and then all of us will will discuss in our own homes and and our friends to see how we can help these people who are going through domestic violence another thing that has brought a lot of um problems is broken promises we promise each other heaven and half and we it's never fulfilled you promise you know um marrying somebody and you say you know what when we marry this is what i'm going to do this is what i'm going to to do for you and then you don't fulfill those promises and then the broken promises turns into arguments and then arguments turns into domestic violence or the the marriage that you've had you promising that when you get children and then maybe the children will not come your way uh because of maybe of uh of of, of someone's uh, uh, uh maybe problems uh, uh, um sickness and and then the person feels uh, you know maybe i married the, the the wrong person and and those promises turns into domestic violence because one wants to get rid of the other one and then um in the end we, we destroy each other and then the other one is competition and i and realistic demands i think i mentioned that threats humiliation jealousy and envy uh, um, included in the causes of, of domestic violence in many homes a lot of jealousy jealousy is is horrible jealousy um, and especially between uh, rivalry between brothers and sisters or members of the of the family has brought a lot of pain and many have ended up killing one another and and destroying one another taking one another to court court cases that are standing out because of um a uh, 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 jealousy and envy in in families jealousy and envy between co-wives and, and their children is bringing a lot of torment but as i said earlier the bottom line is christ in us is the work of, of glory when we all run to christ whether you are being violated or the, the 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 person who is a perpetrator all of us when we go to christ is so forgiving and is our restorer he will restore our broken families he will restore our broken pieces together and put us together into one um there is a place of work where i work and the other when while i was at work there's there's something i i um sorry I, I don't know where I put it. I'm looking for it. I wrote very nice. Um, sorry, <laughs> I I wrote very nice uh, caring uh, things. Just give me one minute, um, which really blessed me. On how we are able to bring um, uh, bring down this domestic violence, but these um, core values were written for how to take care of um, uh, mental health people. And I thought this is fitting also for domestic violence issues in, 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 in families. How, how do we bring in these core principles? They are called the six C's. And, and I know Lucy is watching, she knows where I got them from. The six C's is one is care for one another. So instead of concentrating on all these causes that have brought domestic violence, it is very important that you know very well that you are responsible to care. You care for each other. Care for your brothers and sisters. Care for your wife. Care for your husband. Care for the members of your household. You have the responsibility to care. So the first C is care. It says care is a core, core business that every family and organization and any 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 person 
can deliver to individuals or person to improve their health, their self-esteem, and their well-being. So when you bring care to each other, you are improving the health of that person, you are improving the self-esteem of that person, and you are improving the well-being of that person. The next one is, the next C is communication. Communication is central and successful in caring in relationship. And it is very effective in team working. Listening is an important as what we say. So when you listen, it is also important to what you say. So be, 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 be fast to listen before you speak. So if you listen, you will not be retaliating with violence. And the other C, which um, I'm bringing in, is compassion. You, so com you show compassion to one another. Compassion is how you care, how care is given through a relationship based on empathy and respect and dignity. So when you com have that compassion on your, on your partner or the person you love most, you are showing empathy, you are showing respect, and you are showing dignity. And this will limit the amount of violence that comes around us. The fourth one is C. The fourth C is courage. You be courageous. When you become courageous, you are able to limit aggression. It says courage enables us to do the right thing for the people we care for. To speak up if we have concerns. Speak up gently with empathy, with respect and with dignity. And when you speak up, you solve so many problems without violently attacking the other person. The fifth one is commitment. Show commitment to each other. You, when you when you married your husband or you get married to your husband and your wife, you, you vow to be committed in sickness, in health, in wealth, in poverty. You made that vow. And so you need to stick to those vows. And it said commitment to our family or our relationship or our church members or our marriage will 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 be able to bring security hallelujah will bring security and will bring honor the sixth one and this is the last one before i pray is competence competence means all those in 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 in, in the family must have the ability to understand an individual uh, fears individual needs individuals uh, dreams and when you begin to to know one's dreams fears and what the person loves most you are able to take care of each other amen you are able to preserve you are able to protect each other and god will help you you will not be alone because as i said earlier the scripture i said is that we know christ in us the hope of glory and God will be able to bring us into our destiny. God will be able to bring us into fulfillment. God will be able to bring us into accomplishing the dreams of our lives. God is able to bring us into accomplishing the desires of our hearts. And we bring our families into a, a blossom, you know, a life of growth and blossoming where uh, uh, the Bible says in, in I think it is in, in, in Psalms uh, 90 where they said you will be established as, 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 a, as a palm tree and you will flourish like the cedar of Lebanon. So our family's aim is to flourish to be established, to grow big, you know, and, and, and to, to carry on the traits that God has given you and the character of Christ in us. I said Christ in us, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. It is amazing what God has for us in store. If only we can be patient for to one another, we can be patient for one another. I want to promise you God will never leave us or forsake us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I just want to, to say a prayer, um, a, a, a prayer shortly, and then I am finished and I'm done. I said when I started this, it's a very hard subject, but I said I'm going to face it face on 
and as we go next week i'm going to talk about the violence and its effect on children and i will bring out some certain um issues that we need to be careful so that our children will not be destroyed by our character and our violence in the household father in the name of jesus i just want to thank you for these listeners who have been patient to to hear me and to listen to me speak dear god my father i have spoken a lot about this evil of domestic violence that has brought fear grief control stigma and even death in many families, dear God, that as we speak and expose it, my Father, you will be able to diligently touch every family, my God, and bring this uh, torment into an end in the name of Jesus. Because as I've said, you are Christ in our step of, of glory. We believe in your word, dear God, that in second in Second Timothy chapter chapter one, verse seven, he said, You have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of love, of power and a sound mind so in our homes my father you have deposited love you have deposited love to love each other unconditionally and you have given us the power of Christ in us so that we may be able to stand firm even against the schemes of the enemy and you have given us a sound mind so that we may be able to have self-control and not be able to destroy each other my God that we may have control over anger we may have control over 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 um, uh, uh, alcohol and, and and drug abuse we may have uh, um, uh, control over gender roles and things that are coming to to sweep off our feet we may have control over the effects of media we may have control my father over the, the power of money and finances we may have control over the power of of, 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 of of promotion and be able my father to be stabilized by you who is Christ in us, the hope of glory. I want to pray, my Father, that we may guard our hearts diligently so that we may not be swept away by the, the, the schemes of the enemy. The devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but you have come to give life and life in abundance. My God, I want to pray for specific families that are going through this horrible situation of domestic violence, that many of them, my God, may come out of it in the name of Jesus. And you may be able to change those families that have been patiently waiting upon you. We pray for any man who is going through any abuse and domestic violence. And they have not been able to stand out and not able, my father, to share their pain. I pray for all the male or the males that are going through a lot and they have suffered mentally. They have suffered socially. They have suffered spiritually. I want to pray for them that they may gain back their position my God of honor of respect in the name of Jesus I pray for all the women who have gone through this abusive relationship that God they will be restored my father as mothers as wives as daughters of certain families in the mighty name of Jesus I speak the word of God to them oh God that my father um, in the book of Isaiah 54 verse 17 say no weapon formed against these people my God shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against each one of them my God in judgment my father they shall condemn in the name of Jesus for this is their heritage this is the servants of God this is their heritage my father and this is their right in you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you and I honor you for hearing these prayers. And this message will bless many. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and I have believed it is done. And somebody is getting blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless you. We will talk next week. I've, as I have said, I'm coming next week and, and I'm bringing in the issue of domestic violence and, and children. Um, and um, yes, I will bring in the issue of domestic violence on children, the effects on children. And we will continue as that. It's, a, it's something that people asked for. So I am going to definitely talk about. May God bless you all and thank you for being with me. Amen.